And Gussie. I don't wanna I wanna go I wanna I wanna stop I want to touch that touch that Hi guys how are you doing Welcome back to my YouTube channel I am Kanje. I talk about lifestyle stories about me that you guys can relate to. So guys, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. It's free of charge to subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always watching my content and always, you know, sticking around and watching my videos. So have you been watching those two random clips that I've been posting? I hope you have been watching them. I love trending topics, so that is why I just drop one or two random topics, random trending topics, topics on my channel. So don't mind them, guys. Just appreciate them and watch. So guys, have you seen what we are about to talk about? Like, it's a bit uncomfortable topic. And most of you, most of us don't like to disclose such things or to talk about them or to let it known to people. So guys, how was your first time? Yes, you. How was your first time? <laughs> guys, I'm about to tell you how it was for me and when and what I think many years after that, after doing that, like what I think about it, the, you know, the misconceptions, the myths, such things, guys. So let's get into the video. So guys, for those that don't know me from way back then, I grew up in a very strict family, like a very strict family, such that we wouldn't do, we wouldn't, we were not given a chance to, you know, to be so free with the other gender, you know, to in, to mingle around with the other gender. We only had that when we were in school. Like, uh, when, when I mean we, I mean me, my sister, my younger sister. So we just used to mingle with the other gender, the male, just in school or in church. So we were not that free, you know, we didn't have that freedom. You know, our African parents, those ones for 90s, ha, my guys. So, so I really, I really couldn't, you know, be that free and, you know, explore because I used to be told that being intimate is just, is a taboo. Like, even if you hold that, uh, a guy's hand, you will just get, you know, PG. So I used to be so scared about it and... Well, we used to be given those church values by our parents also in, in church that you're only supposed to start being intimate with your partner after you've gotten married, after you married, you, you see. So I always had that idea in my mind that I can't do this with anyone until unless that person is my husband, unless I've finished school, unless I've gotten a job. Like I used to imagine you have to go through all those processes for you to start now for, uh, when you can be ready now when you can say now you're ready for twatwa <laughs> so guys i hope you understand my two languages the, the two languages that i'm using because i can't use some languages here on youtube so guys when was your first time a book comment down below so when I finished high school, well, I I, 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 used, I was I was in a girls' school until form three, at the beginning of form three. But from there, I went to a, a mixed school, which had ladies and gents, boys and girls. So at least there, I had a chance to mingle with the guys. So I finished my high school well and good, and yeah, after that. I stayed, I was like, I finished my high school at 18 years, so after that I stayed at home for one whole year, 
and I looked for a, a small hustle to do. I'll tell you that story of which hustle I started with. So after I got my first hustle, I was at 19 years there. So at least I had some freedom. So I used to, to do my a small hustle there. I meet some guys, you know, they start, you know, flattering me. And I, I felt like a sense of freedom. So at, at that time when I was about to turn 20 years, I think I was 20, I can say I was 20. That is when I I met this guy and he just swept me off my feet. I don't know if there's something like that. So, and there's this pressure of people, everyone is doing it, your friends, you know, like your friends are just telling you how like you should engage in it, you know. So I was so ready, I was like, this is it. I'm 20 years, like, at least I've finished school, at least I have a side hustle. If I, even if I get pregnant, I'll have something to sustain myself. That is what I was thinking as a 20 year old. So this guy, he was just a random customer at that place that I used to work with, uh, work on. And uh, he was just living around that place. So he used to come around, say hi, nene, nene. one thing led to another, I went to his place. Well, he didn't give me th that much pressure that we must do it like sai sai, but he kept on, you know, giving me the signs, you know, the the flattering, the caressing here and there until I was like, oh, this thing, can I do it? Am I ready? Until I was like, I've dated this guy for like three months. Why don't I do it? Like, why don't I just do it? Like, wow. I can't believe I said it. I said this story on YouTube, but yo. So that is how it happened. It was so like, I used to think like in the movies, you have to prepare that place with red roses. It has to be like in a flowery garden. Like it has to be, you know, some magic, but it was just like, one minute, ta, ha, like who, who, you know, it was, there was nothing special about it. Aki, let me tell you guys, if you're watching this and you're young, Aki, I feel like first time intimacy is overrated because there's nothing special about it. Ever you comment down below and tell me your experience, maybe it was magical because me, the last time I, I checked, like it was just one second and the sheets were full of blood, like, yeah, it was bloody. Yes, at least I got some blood out of it because I hear other ladies saying, oh, me, there is no blood that came out. So the guy thought that I'm not a V, I'm not a virgin or something. So at least me, I can say it was bloody. A chick was, chick was 100% V, 100% untouched. So, and then I feel like the first time you, like the first time that you experience it, you experience it with a jerk, like a bad boy or someone that you're not even compatible because I was not so much in love with that person for me to have that first time with that person. It was so, it was horrible. It, like if I compare with now, I feel like the person that's, I'm currently dating or the person that like it would have been better <laughs> like guys <laughs> it was so like there's nothing special about it there's even nothing to remember like yo I don't know if it's me or you guys are always like, are, are, are also like that I will let this comment down below let me know if the person that broke your virginity was a jerk like was he someone that you're still dating right now, which is well and good for you? And was it someone who you, you, you don't even, you cannot even date currently? And then I thought like it would be like in the movies, like, <sighs> and then they tear their shirt and then you, you jump on them and then, you know, <laughs> my friend, <laughs> like we spent like two hours just Kusumbuana running around before I just accepted like it was horrible. <laughs>
so guys i would like to advise young ladies if if you're watching this and you feel that pressure there's nothing to feel pressure about you better just wait you better just you know do some other things there's nothing to feel pressure about like at akunati gold medal after even that i felt so bad i even stayed like for a month without looking at that person i even didn't want that relationship anymore and the older i got the better it became the better the intimacy became with the people that i dated after after that person and the better i came to enjoy it because as i was growing up or as i was around that age around that 20s 20 something age 22 23 up on i used to think that you're just supposed to please the guy but i've come to realize that also you the lady you have the right to be pleasured like you have the right to equally you know reach orgasm you have the right to equally enjoy it see it you just there to please the guy and you nothing is happening to you you see you're not even enjoying you're just screaming out of nowhere you're just you know you're just giving the guy fake screams which i feel like it's so wrong i feel like you should enjoy it enjoy that moment and you should do it with someone that you love because that connection you see when it connects from the mind everything is magical everywhere so even you'll find yourself you know just feeling that moment and being in that moment which is the most important thing you'll even have 10 orgasms if you love that person my friend ha ask me my friend you will scream duru za kuaminika zitatoka kwa hiyo nyumba cuz yo you love that person like you're not how ski aibu you're not ashamed of letting loose to that person you're not ashamed of let of letting them know your 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 pleasure areas of letting them know what you like if you like this cuz if you don't like that person and you've never had this conversation because i feel like even even in intimacy you should have this conversation with your partner talk about it like yo baby i love this styles i love this uh what you do like this when you touch here but if you're just there with someone that ata mekutana to somewhere and do you know in the action this person maybe is used to doing this like this to other ladies and you you don't like it at all so we find like it is turning you off yeah so i feel like this conversation is getting a bit steamy <laughs> so guys what do you think about what i'm saying i love there are these myths these misconceptions about intimacy about like at at if you do this kind of styles you will get pregnant at if you do this kind of styles you will get a baby boy or a girl there are so many miscon- misconceptions about that i came to realize as i was growing up that all that is bs all that like yo even if you do like monkey style and the the person has ejaculated on you my friend you will still get a baby still get pregnant so there's so many myths another one is like at like the first time if you don't if you, if you if blood will not come from it at you are not seriously a virgin and i'm like yo there are so many ladies out here fighting the stigma that they are not virgins because their first time there was no you know there was no blood and i feel like that is so wrong you can still be a virgin and there's there's there'll be no blood coming out but you'll still be a virgin and if you if if maybe for example you the first time that you had it it was by force you had not accepted it there was no consent from your side you cannot say that was your first time your first time is when you have accepted it when you have equally you know you have equally accepted to the task let me call it a task like your mind is ready for it cuz don't feel that pressure and nobody pressure you at if you don't do it you're not a lady or a man enough cuz i feel like guys start when start too early in their age cuz there's that pressure that you become a man when you start you know doing it 
another myth uh, is that and this is for the guys that if you don't have many girlfriends or many partners you're not man enough and i'm like yo who said it in which book of the bible does it state that if you don't have several girlfriends you're not a man enough i used to get so much of that comment uko the nikiwa 22 23 at if you see a guy with so many ladies you should date that guy because ameva ameva hmm? doshi ameva styles and then something else is that the truth another like one of the truth is that as long the the more you grow is the more you become more experienced and it becomes better because like me right now i know my my spots my g spots i know my pleasure spots like if you do this i'll be like yo i'm not feeling it because i'm not there to pass time for you to enjoy and me i'm not enjoying so yo i have to let you know the pleasure parts that i have they are here they are here do this put your hand here put your leg here like yo <laughs> i'm a mature lady right now i don't play with it i'm not there to waste time i'm not there to do mende style and then after that you're just there sweating and then unaenda no you have to make this chick enjoy also <laughs> okay so leave a comment down below let me know your first time how was it and um, what are some of the myths or some of the overrated things that you think people say about about this you know let us all communicate about this alafu don't be shy don't be shy to talk about this with your partner or if you have partners with your partners which is so risky because yo hiv is real stds are real sts are real and then something else i used to hear at another myth is that at when you use protection at when you use only one rubber at at it, it will it won't prevent you from you know from pregnancy or from stis or from hiv so i used to feel like maybe your partner should use like four or five rubbers for them to protect you from all that that is a myth that is a lie only one is enough as long as it doesn't burst only one is enough sour that is a crazy myth in fact maybe when they put several rubbers maybe sayon it it a burst and so much friction and cg nini something a myth, another myth is that at when you're not wet as a lady at you don't feel that guy well that could be true because you get you know you get that um you know those fluids just come when you're in the mood and you're happy and you're into this person but i feel like you should also invest in things like lubricants because sometimes it gets dry yeah and you if you you're not satisfied you need things like the lubricants to help you out so don't be fooled that the lubricants are for those people who are you doing it regularly ama sana sana ama sijui nini no you need it you need to invest on these things you see for your own good and for your own pleasure buy some flavored uh, lubricants if you're allergic to those things you can use a water based lubricant and enjoy it with your partner enjoy it is there for you to enjoy but as long as you're dating that person see at just random twatwa everywhere left right and center you're endangering your health so guys comment down below let me know what you think about this topic did you enjoy it now you know i was 20 years when i started doing these things i can count the number of people i've done it with they are not many like me i'm not afraid of my body count but i'm not about to spill that here <laughs> so guys comment down below tell me what you think tell me your first time when was it give me those juicy stories i also want to laugh i also want to listen this is it guys have a nice time if you're watching this on a week, week, weekend have a nice uh week, weekday if you're watching this on a weekday and see you on the next video guys and support my channel subscribe empesa like comment share and i'll see you on my socials bye guys